Yo guys, what is going on? It is Mr. DGM here, back again for you guys, another squad builder video. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to make the best possible 1 million coin team. So I thought I'd give it a go and see what I could come up with. So the formation I have chosen to go with is 4-3-2-1. However, I do actually change the formation in-game to 4-2-3-1 with the three cams. So as always guys, if you do enjoy the video or find it helpful in any way, if you could show some support by dropping a like on it, I would really appreciate that. And if you are new to the channel and you like FIFA 19 content, why not consider subscribing? So we are going to jump straight into this squad builder. So kicking things off, in goal I have gone with the 89 rated Mark andre de Stegen who I bought for 36,000 coins. This guy is a very good goalkeeper on this game. 90 reflexes is a very good stat. Very good kicking in game as well. And I have to say, I thought he did a very solid job for me between the sticks. So moving on to the right back position, I've gone with the Champions League card, Semedo. I bought for 9,300 coins. I think that's very good value for money. This guy is a very overpowered fullback in my opinion. Great pace, good dribbling, fairly solid defensively as well. So we are moving on to the two central defenders. We're going to start on the right hand side with the 87 rated Samuel Umtiti. Now I actually had his loan card, but if you were to buy him off the market, I think he would cost you between 70 to maybe 80k. But yeah, this guy is a very good centre back. And then alongside him, we have got Virgil van Dijk, who I bought for 130,000 coins. One of the best centre backs on the game, in my opinion. So strong physically, great positional play as well. I thought those two were a very good centre back partnership. So, in the left back position, I have gone with Andrew Robertson, who I bought for only 1,800 coins. I think this guy is one of the best fullbacks in the BPL, and I think he does do a solid job in game. So we're going to move on to the three central midfielders. We're going to start in the right central midfield position with Antoine Griezmann. Now, of course, I wasn't using this guy as a central midfielder. I've only converted him to that position for chemistry reasons. But I was using him as my main striker. And I think he's one of the best strikers on this game. He is such a complete forward, can offer you goals and assists. So we're moving on to the central midfield position. I have got the 91 rated Luka Modric. Now, I was using this guy as one of my CDMs, and I thought he did really well. He can defend, he can offer you assists. Good going forwards, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Modric. So in the left central midfield position, we have got Roberto Firmino, who I bought for 33,000 coins. This guy was playing as my central cam, and I love having Firmino on my team. I think he's such a great player on this game. So moving on to the left forward position, I've actually gone with Ivan Perisic, who I bought for 17,500 coins. I was very impressed with this guy. I was using him as my left cam in game, and I thought he played that position very well. So we are moving on to the right forward position, and we have got the 88 rated Gareth Bale, who I bought for 392 thousand coins a big money signing but definitely worth it this guy is such a special player on this game and uh, yeah he did do really well for me in this team so we are now moving on to the striker position and i've actually got roger nine golan now of course he wasn't playing as the striker he was playing as the other cdm and i think he is a very good defensive midfielder on this game 83 defending 83 physicality two very impressive stats so as you can see there every player is on at least nine chemistry all the players would be on 10 chemistry if you did play 10 matches so as i did mention before i did change the formation to 4-2-3-1 with the three cams having the nine goal and Modric is the two CDMs, Griezmann up top with Perisic left cam, Bale right cam and Firmino in the middle. So we're moving on to my custom tactics. I've been using these custom tactics for quite a while now. You don't have to use these if you don't want to, you can use your own, it is up to you. So player instructions for Griezmann, I would tell him to stay central, get him behind, stay forwards. For all three of the cams, stay forwards, get into the box or cross and to free roam. I thought that did work very nicely. And then for both Roger Nongolan and Luka Modric to cut the passing lanes, to stay back while attacking and to cover the centre. And as always, I do keep both of the fullbacks on balanced attack. So we are moving on to my highlights using this team in Division Rivals. This honestly has been one of the best teams that I've used on FIFA 19 so far. I really did enjoy using the attack. Griezmann, Bale, Perisic, Firmino. It's got everything in that attack, really. The pace, the power, the technical ability, goals, assists. Thought it was very good. Defensively as well, very solid. Virgil van Dijk in particular. He is just an absolute machine on this game. 
so I would definitely recommend using this team but you guys will be able to rate this team out of five so I'm going to be very interested to see what you guys say and if we do get a five out of five or if you guys think that this team could potentially be improved if you did want to improve the team then there are a few upgrades you could go with so you could get inform Lala at the right back position I think that would be a good upgrade you could go with Hugo Lloris in goal if you preferred you could go with an inform Andrew Robertson if you wanted to upgrade that position and you could upgrade Perisic as well so those are a few upgrades if you guys were looking to upgrade the team and maybe you have a few more coins lying around but yeah guys that is just going to be about it from me for today so as always if you guys want to feel free to get more suggestions for squad builders you want me to make feel free to do that Make sure you guys like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But I will catch you in the next video.